Well, guys, it's another day, and it's another one of these stories. This seems to be commonplace. It seems to be like something we see all the time now. The the generation which we grow up in, it, it's this is constantly coming out. The social media error, you cannot hide anything. And now it looks like Evo 2020 has officially been canceled. Hey everybody, I'm Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please be sure to click that like and subscribe button. Also guys, in the pinned comment and description box below is a link to our Discord server. Please go over there, become a part of Storm Nation, and help build up that Discord server, guys. So, EVO 2020 has been canceled. If you guys don't know what EVO is, EVO is a, a giant online, well it's not online, it's a giant fighting uh, an event, you know, like, like you know how E3 is like this four day event. Well, Evo is like that. It's, it's a fighting event where all these different competitors from different fighting games come and they all fight it out and it, it's put up the best of the best. And it's a annually uh, annual thing every year, and a lot of people really look forward to Evo. Well, now Evo has been canceled. Uh, due to the wake of sexual abuse, apparently the one of the co-founders has been, or co-presidents here, has been accused of some pretty serious accu accusations. Not only that, but over in the Smash Brothers community, a couple of the top Smash Brothers competitors also has been accused of sexual abuse. And then when you kind of just scroll down, you see where NetherRealm says, we stand in solidarity with those who've spoken out against abuse. We're pulling out of EVO online because this year, EVO was going to be a strictly an online event due to, you know, COVID-19 and stuff. They, they couldn't do the big event like it normally was. So they had to uh, try to try something new and they were going to do online this year. And NetherRealm's pulled out of that. You see Capcom pulled out of it. And a lot of these big companies, you know, we're going to pull out. You know, they, they do Soul Calibur Tech and Dragon Ball Fighters, you know, Mortal Kombat 11, Smash Brothers. And due to these allegations now, the these Evo's being canceled because now you got the co-president who's being accused of sexual misconduct. Uh, you have the Smash Brothers players being accused of sexual misconduct conduct rather sorry about that but um i looked into some of the smash brothers stuff the the main young lady who was accused and i'm not gonna go into because i gotta be honest with you i'm, I'm tired of doing these type of videos i'm tired of going well let's let the you know proof come out and then we'll judge on that and i still believe that w once the proof comes out we will make our assessment at that point i'm not gonna sit here condemn or condone anything uh you know i did that with andy signor I, I i thought andy signor was guilty came back that andy signor you know he he was played he was played and he lost everything then we got the allegations with angry joe and the allegations with this actor and the allegations with that actor and bill cosby this and and it's, it's non-going this this the past two to three years have been just mentally exhausting because there's so much of this stuff coming out. It's like people coming out for stuff to happen like 10, 15 years ago. And they're coming out now. And they're doing this. And and even yesterday, I did the video about Cyborg. Ray Fisher complaining about how Josh Whedon on set was completely unprofessional. He was abusive and all this. I'm like, dude, where were you when you guys were filming? Why are you coming out now? It's like we're constantly getting this over and over. And 2020 has been so horrible. We don't. I, again, I'm not telling you not to come out, right? Like, if this stuff really happened, you really feel like this stuff happened, you need to speak up. That's the that's the first thing. You need to speak up. You need to get it out. You know, if you have been, you know, abused or sexually assaulted, don't hold that shit in. Come out. Come front and forward. Um, it just seems like every day that's the main story we're running with today. It's like, hey, we're doing this. Hey, we're another sexual harassment. Now, I did see... Um, Jeremy's from Geeks and Gamers. I watched his video right before I started filming mine just to kind of see what he was talking about over there because I really wanted to hit on this. And over there, he showed the clips of the girl with the boy. Me, personally, if you want me to give you my honest opinion, I looked at all three clips that Jeremy looked at. I didn't see anything wrong in those clips. Um, that's just me. I, I see a, a young girl and a young boy, and it looked like a babysitter 
slash, you know, it, it looks like a babysitter slash, you know, child relationship. You know, she, she, she's playing with him. You know, she, she's like doing little goofy things. Um, it, that's what it felt like to me. You know, but again, that's just my perception of it. I didn't, I didn't go through there with a fine tooth comb, going, "Oh my gosh, she touched his butt here." No, I, I just seen her like, you know, just kind of mess with him, talk with him. It felt like, it felt like something like a babysitter would do. And, and if I didn't know any better, if I didn't know any better, and I just watched this clip completely out of context, I would assumed that 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 was just her her babysitter or his babysitter, and. They they were like related or something. So again, that's just me taking it completely out of context. But I think we're getting to the point now where this stuff comes out all the time. You cannot hide shit. If you are someone who has been doing these things and thinking you're going to get away with it, you're not going to get away with it because this stuff is going to come out. It's going to come out. Um, the social media era in our life where Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, these things run everything now. You find out everything. You cannot hide from your past. No, you could say something stupid that you take as a joke. 15 years later, someone's going to get really, really offended by that. And they're going to come out. And then you're going to have all these allegations against you and stuff. I hate the fact that it has now come to the point where it consumes all my media. Like, like it started with movies. Like, oh, well, this actor's accused of this. And this director's accused of that. Now it, it, it filtered into the gaming industry. And now it just consumes all media. Now, you can live in a bubble and pretend like this doesn't happen. But it does happen. But now we're just starting to hear about it yes i wish i didn't do what i do on youtube where i actually have to look at these news stories and go what are we going to talk about you know i wish i could just i wish i could just put on you know last of us 2 and play it in a bubble you know but no i can't because you know why i seen what i seen what naughty dog and sony's done to so many youtube creators i've seen so many things that's gone on i i you know you, you look at what what these you know the co-founder of evo what what they're accused of and th this is really bad you know a lot of this stuff is really really bad again you're innocent until proven guilty in my eyes that's the way i always look at everything i will judge accordingly when this stuff comes out i've always been that way i just think it's a real shame that all all corners of our media has now taken a hit because of this type of stuff and it seems like we're getting this every single day it's like you know hey who's being accused of what today and why are they doing this and kevin hart said what seven years ago oh we can't do the oscars now what james gunn tweeted what now it gets a little crazy it does it gets a little crazy i think people um i do think some people are sensitive i don't take sexual abuse lightly no, 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 not at all. Sexual abuse and sexual misconduct, that's a very serious threat. Um, you know, you, you don't take that lightly. But I do think we get to the point now where every little thing might offend somebody. It's like, oh, you tweet this 10 years ago? Oh, I'm offended. We just seen what happened with the Flash actor. To be honest with you, he did write a lot of really bad stuff in his tweets. A lot of stuff even I cringed at. Did he deserve to get fired? That's up to state of opinion. But... Again, now Evo has been canceled. That is the latest thing going on is that Evo has been canceled and it's all due to a lot of sexual misconduct and accusations that are coming out against the, the former CEO and then the Smash Brother community. Everything just kind of came to a head. So with big, big games like Street Fighter V and NetherRealms, you know, pulling out, Evo had no choice but to cancel this year. So if you're a big fan of Evo, I do feel sorry for you if you were looking forward to that event. It's no different like if the Super Bowl got canceled because of something similar. I'm a massive you know, football fan. So I, I see where you're coming from. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's just kind of the the – era we live in now where this stuff constantly you you can't hide from it and it, it's sad so anyway guys that's just my thoughts on it i know this video was a little long i didn't think i was going to talk as long as i did about this but yeah it's kind of disturbing it's kind of sad I, I don't know what to think other than let just the due process happen and we'll judge accordingly um if you guys want to look more into what's going on in the smash brothers community maybe i'll hit that in a separate video tomorrow i really just wanted to hit on evo being canceled but yeah it, it, it's um it's a funny time guys it's a funny time until next time you guys all take care i am robert storms and that's my opinion goodbye everybody